Imagine you got for Christmas this wonderful toolbox. You open it up and you go like, wow, there is a cool bicolor pencil in there. I just close this and this is all I'm going to use. And the rest I ignore. That's ridiculous, right? Now that we established that, just a question. Beside the Graxpert script, which other scripts did you already use from the Toolbox set? And if you don't know now what I'm talking about, Toolbox is a script set made by Jürgen Terpe, a German astrophotographer. And what it all contains, beside the now very famous use Graxpert from PixInsight script, that's the topic of this video, right after the trailer. Hey, this is View Into Space, I'm Sascha from Switzerland, so grüezi miteinander and thanks for watching my channel. So yes, we were all very much excited about the Graxpert script, which lets us use Graxpert AI right out of PixInsight. And I think nobody really knew or even cared where this is coming from. It was just clear you had to download this toolbox package and there the script was. Everything was fine. Now, first of all, I did a little bit more digging where this is coming from. And as stated, it's coming from a German astrophotographer called Jürgen Terpe. He's not that very much about publicity, but he agreed to help me doing this video series. And I think before we even continue, a very, very big thank you to you, Jürgen, for providing these really cool scripts for free to all of us. And now I think this is the second point. Once the excitement faded a little bit off about this Graxpert script, I started to look into the other scripts that were in this toolbox. And actually, they are amazing. Some of them make just things easier. Some of them are really never been there before in PixInsight. And some of them even replace stuff that we had before in the Easy Suite. So today in PixInsight, I will show you four scripts out of this package. And then in later videos, I will show you the other ones. And so that you definitely do not miss these other videos, please hit the subscribe button now. And now let's go into PixInsight. Okay, welcome to Pix Inside. So this is about the picture we want to achieve, the elephant trunk nebula with a lot of shiny colors. But let's start a little bit earlier. We have here the hydrogen alpha, the oxygen and the sulfur. So we have to combine these three into SHO. This we do as usual with a channel combination. S, the O is blue and the H is green. We click the global button and we get this absolute beauty here. It reminds me of the movie Grinch. <laughs> so now there is something that I should have done previously and which would probably have helped that it wouldn't look like that and that is linear fit. And when it comes to linear fit, I hear a lot of people who say, well, this is really needed and it can done in later stages, yada, yada, yada. And I think the main issue that they have with linear fit is that it is work because you need statistics, you need linear fit process, you have to look which has the lowest mean and so on and so on. What would be if I could do that with a touch of a button? And I can. I just go to script, toolbox, auto linear fit. I can address which picture it concerns. Yes, it's this one. And I can even say what I want, the lowest mean, the lowest noise, the lowest noise K sigma, the red channel, the green channel, or the blue channel. Usually we leave it at lowest mean. And here we go, this looks now a little bit pale. But now you already see that it looks much, much nicer than before. And before we go to the next script, what I just wanted to show you is this here. Jürgen has done an amazing effort to really do very good documentation of each and every script. So even for the scripts I don't cover here, if you don't want to wait, just read the manual. It's really good. And also the hints, for example, if I go on here, it says use the channel with lowest mean or lowest noise or one of the channels as your reference image. Okay, so this was script number one. So in the meantime, I actually have done all the exterminators, I have stretched with GHS, and I've done the narrowband normalization process thanks to Bill Blanchin. So this image looks already pretty good, but I still feel we can change the colors a little bit, we can give it a little bit more ump, and we have to integrate the stars again. And thanks to Jürgen, we have for all three cool scripts. So let's get going. So the first one we take is selective color correction. 
And there's a lot of methods actually to do these color corrections and most have to do with color masks which we first have to create and then adjust and it's a huge hassle. No more. This tool solves it all. It's so cool. But there is just one warning and it also concerns the script after that. It's almost impossible to undo. So it's a good thing to actually first do a clone of it before you start it, just in case you mess up so that you have a chance to go back. That said, let's go in. So let's say, first of all, I wanna increase the red a little bit. So I go here on the red mask and I just increase here the red. I can see right away here in the preview what's gonna happen. That looks actually already good. So I say apply. So remember, you always have to apply before you move to the next step. Then you have to wait until it's finished here. Now it's finished, cool. Now it's already applied here. So I see it right at the main picture now too. So next thing is I go to yellow. In the yellow area, I actually wanna increase the yellow a little bit. I wanna decrease the green. And to get to a nice orange, I might even also here increase the red a little bit until I think it looks good. That looks really nice. So I go and apply. Next, blue. Who doesn't like a cool blue down here? So we're also increasing the blue a little bit. And we decrease the green. Cool. Apply. But I can do even more amazing stuff with this. For example, I have here the shadow, the midtones, the highlights. I have low saturation, I have high saturation. So for example, what I can say, I create a map only with the shadows. And here the shadows, it just has a little bit too much red for my taste. So I decrease here the red. And I can even also go a little bit down with the luminance. Make the dark spaces even darker. Apply. And on the opposite, I can actually say do the exact opposite with the midtones. So here we're going a little bit up with the luminance. And that looks much more shiny. Cool. Okay. And when we're finished, we just have to close the dialog. And here is our picture. And it looks much, much better now. And it was so easy and so fast. So for me, this script is really one of the highlights of the toolbox. So the next one is something really special, which usually people who work with Photoshop know, Lab Color Boost. So what is this? Actually, people who use Photoshop transfer the picture in the lab color space, and then they can actually through that increase the colors that they look even cooler, and then they convert it back. This is something generally we cannot do in PixInside, but with this script, we can mimic that. So it actually blends then the lab's color space over our regular one. And within this blend mode, we can actually increase and or decrease that. So if I go to 100, it goes bonkers colors. And I figured usually around 60% is quite cool. You can also increase here the shadows a little bit so that it actually in the shadow regions doesn't apply this that much. After that, you click OK. OK, and here it is. So you, so you might wonder, did anything even happen? So let's see here with our clone. Let's toggle. And yes, substantially the colors increased. It looks really nice. Okay, so now that we actually did all that, we wanna reintegrate the stars. So we need again this formula. Where do you have this formula again? And we need pixel math. And we have to remember how these pictures were called. So much to do. Would be cool if there would be a script for that. And it actually is, and it's quite an amazing one. And it's called Combine Images. So image one, the starless image we have here. Image two are here the stars. And it actually gives you a preview what will happen. And you see the combined method is screen. Now this tool can so much more. First of all, 
not for the purpose of free screening the stars, but for anything else you want, you can almost do anything you want here, especially when you're still in the linear phase. You can multiply, you can color burn, you can overlay, and so on. So definitely something to try out. But now when we come to the star rescreening, look at that here. I can actually balance image one with image two, which means if I feel mm, these stars look a little bit too bright, all I have to do, I go here to 0.9, for example, and the stars are a little bit dimmer. So if I let it run now, and here it is. So I'm really excited. These scripts will definitely belong to my standard set from now on. So in the meantime, I decided also to keep the drill because it kind of looks cool, right? I hope you liked the demonstration of Pixel Inside. I hope you got a lot out of it. And as stated, the coverage of the other scripts will come soon. And if you want to hear all these news right at the moment when I discover it, just come to my Patreon channel, where I always post about such stuff first. Link is in the description below. See you next time and clear skies.